What up, what up, y'all? It's your man, it's your man, the morning star. Back on here. Just kind of jumping on here, man, in which, not surprised whatsoever. You know, back in the days, I would, you know, tune in to the gospel channels, listen to people like, you know, T.D. Jakes and others. And just by listening to them, watching the actions, you know, you could tell it was all for show. All for money. It's all an act with them. You know, and then uh, to the right here, if you're not familiar with the gentleman in the blue suit, that's uh, Pastor Gino Jennings, uh, um, who I also have listened to in the past, in which he is a more direct, a more upfront, a more believable, a more real preacher. You know what I'm saying? He uses everything by the word. He don't stray from the word. You know, pastors like your T.D. Jakes, they use the word for financial gain. You know, and ain't nothing wrong with being better and doing better in life. But you don't use the word to take advantage of other people who are, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, vulnerable. You understand what I'm saying? Because a lot of people go to church because they're vulnerable, because they're looking for something. They're looking for, for, for love or whatever it may be. But just check, you know, some of this out and let me know what you think. Because in the beginning, you'll see TDJ not necessarily defending himself, but you can just tell it's all an act. This man is as fake as a as a as a, a, a five million dollar bill. You understand what I'm saying? But just check this out real quick. I ain't come to convince you or nobody, because I know who I am. I came to hear the master say, "Well done, thou good and faithful servant." Gino Jennings. Now come on. You know, I don't want to bring nobody down, talk bad on nobody, man, but come on. Anybody with two eyes and, and, and got their eyes open to reality know that that was fake. You understand what I'm saying? But check out uh, Pastor Gino Jennings. He's going to get into about, you know, what's going on at these parties that uh, TDJ is so-called attending with these rap artists in which and then everybody know rap church they don't mix you know unless it's gospel rap and i don't even believe in that but check this out he is teaching his bold and direct communication style has garnered both supporters and critics but it undeniably sets him apart in the realm of religious discourse during one of his live broadcast he publicly criticized td jakes for associating with diddy and attending his parties td jakes was hanging out at a rapper and twerking party. What? That Puff Daddy helped. He's sitting right there. OTD Snakes. <laughs> Amen. They there twerking and everything. TD Snakes right there. <laughs> my lord, my lord. <laughs> you see? They want the world to look at them as men of God. But they are really scared to be real men of God as a result of repercussion. That's right. They want to be loved by the sinner. They don't even care if they are not loved by God. No. They want to be accepted by the sinner. That's right. And they don't care if God don't accept them. That's right. And that is the reason why churches are going to hell is because you want to be so much like the sinner, you are the sinner. You are. Amen. And the That's sinner don't respect you. Rumors about T.D. Jakes. If that wasn't the God honest truth, I don't know what the God honest truth is anymore, y'all. Because we all know T.D. Jakes has no business at a party with Puff Daddy or whatever his name is. I don't care what his name is. You understand what I'm saying? I ain't ever liked him in the beginning anyway. I knew he was... It's fake as, as a million dollar bill as well. You understand what I'm saying? But, you know, these cats, they they, they they step on people. They walk over people to try to make it to the top, man. And that ain't the way you're supposed to do it. But we all know that's how majority of the people make it to the top is by bringing other people down. Crabs in a bucket. You know what I'm saying? Or in a barrel. That's all they are. You know? And, and there's even more videos. Um, one of uh, Diddy's uh, ex by um, bodyguards, you know, he even saw T.D. Jakes at the party. Women twerking all in front of him. He's sitting there watching it. Come on, man. Don't get me wrong. You know, we all men. We've all had lustful ways and things like that. Don't get me wrong. But when you're supposed to be a man of the cloth, 
you got a church with thousands of people that come to see you preach every Sunday or whenever you hold service. You probably hold service every day just to make money. You know what I'm saying? But my point is, that ain't how you're supposed to do it when you're running a real church. You understand what I'm saying? But, hey, y'all keep tuning in, man. It's going to be more to come. And uh, believe you me, before it's all said and done, man, a lot of these churches are going down. A lot of these artists are coming down. And we are in for a real shakeup in the world as a whole, not just in the church, with the church, with the, 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 the uh, uh, entertainment industry, with the government itself, with all the wars and everything that's going on, man. 2024 is going to really be a year. Um, so y'all just be prepared, man. Stay blessed. And it's your man, Morning Star. Check you out later.